Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MOSY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame that has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then just makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Done this analysis several times in the past but want to get things updated after today's price movement. Things got pretty rough and depending on your perspective there is still a little bit of possibility for the for the bullish side of things uh, but again that does depend on your perspective. What do I mean? Well if you're some sort of day trader and you bought up around here or you know you bought right there and you wanted to sell within 20 minutes well then yeah for you the charts essentially ruined and I, I would assume that you've been stopped out if you're still in then I would have to question your actual trade strategy going into it but that's a whole nother video point here being from the day trading perspective and depending on where you bought uh, you know th this chart could look pretty rough now on the flip side if you're a day trader and you bought right here or right there well then yeah you're, you're actually sitting in the green right now but from a overall charting perspective the chart does still have an opportunity and the opportunity revolves right here at the pink line, which is the famous 200 period simple moving average. That's a level where even if you have just a basic understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 200 period and you know that when the price is up above it, you wanna see it act as support and to be fair and to give credit where credit's due, so far so good, this level is indeed acting as support. So not only is it very important for the price to hold above that level uh, for the very you know straightforward reason that it's a key level of support, but also just think about if the price actually doesn't hold above it. If the price were to actually fall down below that level and just separate to the downside, what would that be doing to the price at that point in time? That would literally be putting the price right back to essentially where it was before the real nice move you know, occurred. The nice move I'm referring to is just this right here. I mean, I think we'd all agree that there was a nice move. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where everything all started, not exactly a sign of true strength. And that's also what that pink line is representing. So not only is it representing just a very famous level in the world of charts in general, but in this circuit, uh, set of circumstances, it's really kind of defining whether or not the price is gonna start to make overall progress forward, or if the price is going right back to where it started. So keeping a close eye on that, right now that's valued at 26 cents, like I said, so far so good, the price is holding it above it, but that's definitely a very important level of support moving forward. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.